Hi, I am Jade. This is part four of my six part series on advice for anyone interested in becoming a pilot here in South Africa. This advice comes from my own experience and the experiences of my friends. These are mistakes we made and things we wish we knew before we started our flight training. Today we're going to discuss how to choose the right flying school for you. In my last video, I discussed how when you start your flight training, you have three options. You can either join the military, go to 43 Air School, or you can go to a normal flight school, which is what I will be discussing in this video. When choosing a flight school, I think it is so important that you go look at more than one. I understand that this might be a bit intimidating and seem like an additional expense, but at the end of the day, it could end up saving you a lot more money. Go see for yourself what facilities they have available and make the effort to go speak to the students while they are alone so that they are not influenced and um, go speak to them see what the experience is go see what challenges they face you know this can give you a more honest look of what your time there will be like i think it's also important to realize that if you just speak to personnel it it can sometimes be a bit misleading and give you a um, greater expectation of what your experience there will be Another important point to consider when choosing your flight school is the climate and the terrain. Cape Town has mountains, the ocean, it's also sometimes windy all year round and it predominantly rains in winter. Whereas in Bloemfontein it is a very flat terrain, they have very cold and dry winters and thunderstorms in the summer. Especially when choosing flying schools in different provinces, the climate and terrain can really affect your flight training. So I think it is so important that you weigh the pros and cons of each. Some flight schools have PPL exam facilities but do not have CPL and ATPL exam facilities. And if you're going to become a pilot one day and make this your career path, you are going to need to write your CPL and ATPL exams. So before choosing your flight school, go have a look at the CAA website and see what exam facilities are available. This can really factor into making your decision on what flight school is right for you. When choosing a flight school, also weigh the pros and cons of having your flight school at an uncontrolled airspace versus an airport. If you choose an airport, you might have more experience speaking to ATC, air traffic controllers, but spend more time um, wasting fuel on the taxiway while you wait for larger aircrafts to land. Thank you so much for watching my flight video i really appreciate your support if you have any additional tips you'd like to give someone who's starting their flight training please comment it down below i will really appreciate it please also watch my next flight video once it is available and have a wonderful day bye <laughs>